Alibaba just dropped a huge load in the LLM market by dropping the Quen 2.5 series, which are dominating open source AI in math, coding, and beyond. And I say that because the new 2.5 collection has a whole of 13 different models, the Quen 2.5 base models, the Quen 2.5 coder models, and the Quen 2.5 math model, each specializing in what they do. And in this video today, we're gonna actually install this locally on a machine from Olama, and then integrate this inside our VS Code using continue.dev, one of my most favorite extensions for VS Code to run local models. And as the Medium article states that in September 2024, Alibaba made headlines with the release of more than 100 open source models from its new Quen 2.5 family. And among these models, there's this 72 billion parameters model which stands out, which has actually beaten Meta's much larger Llama 3.1, which is a 405 billion parameters model. And this new Quen 2.5 family consists of models ranging from 0.5 billion to 72 billion parameters, with a context window of 128K and generating outputs up to 8K tokens. And it is not just the Medium article, there are tons of different articles that are talking about how it surpasses the 4.5 billion parameter Llama 3.1 model. It is the birth of the largest model family ever, over 100 open source models released, which is just mind blowing, isn't it? So without further chatter, we're just actually gonna go dive right into it and actually install the Quen 2.5 on a local machine and run it inside my VS Code here. So let's get started. Hi, and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is your host, Shamriz, and we're getting to the practical part now. So on the Olama website, in the download section, what you can do is you can just choose your operating system. And if you're using Linux, just like me here, you can copy this script and then go on and paste that inside your terminal. And that's all you need to do. Just hit enter and it will start downloading Olama locally on your machine. And that is all. It is actually installed. Now, what you need to do is you need to actually go to the models section here and you need to search for Quen. So I'm just going to go and search Quen here. And there you go. You have the Quen 2.5. But the model that I want for this video is the Quen 2.5 coder because I want to test the coding capabilities of Quen 2.5. So I'm just going to go and download this one. So all you need to do is choose your load. So I'm going to choose the 7 billion load here. And then you just have to go on and copy this script from here and paste it back inside your terminal and hit enter. What this would do is it would actually grab that model from Olama library and install that locally on your machine. Now, while this is being installed, what we can do is we can move to our VS code and install the continue.dev extension. So in the extension marketplace, what you need to do is search for continue.dev and you will see the extension on the top. Just go on and install that. And that was pretty much all you had to do. Now you have an extension that can run local models inside VS Code. So if you go to local here, you can go on and run the Olama local models. So once we have our Olama installed, we can connect this. Back at our terminal, we can see that our model is installed. Let's see whether it's working or not. Hello. And make sure that you specify the language you want the response to be in because this is a Chinese model and they might respond in Chinese. So I'm just going to go and be specific and say respond in English. And yes, there was a response, which means it's actually working. Now let's stop playing around and actually integrate this inside continue.dev. Now inside your VS Code, all you have to do is click on continue.dev extension. Then you have to go and choose a model. And here you can add a chat model. Now here you can choose your provider. Mine is already Olama. You can choose whichever provider you want and then the model. And I would say for the model, use auto detect. This would detect all the models that are running locally right now in your machine. So I'm just gonna go and connect. And now if you go back to the chat and see, you get your auto detect actually detecting the Quen 2.5 coder, which is a 7 billion parameters model. So let's go and actually ask this a few basic questions. So I'm just gonna go and start with the usual basic question, which is to write a hello world program. And there you go. So this is the response. But now let's actually move this a bit more. So I'm going to go and create a file here, which is going to be desk.py. And here I'm just going to go and open the chat. So to be honest, this video was just about the overview and installation. If you want me to thoroughly test this out, you can let me know in the comments below and I will love to do that. But for now, I'm just going to go with only one test here, which is going to be a game of life. 
and after that I'm going to conclude this video. So I'm going to go with a really basic scenario here which is to write the code for a terminal based game of life. Let's go and hit enter. Now it actually went on and provided me the code for the classic code based game of life which is written in python. So let's actually copy that or we can even click here to insert that inside the file. There you go. Now we can just save the file and run this and there you go. Guess a number between 1 and 100. So I'm going to go with 50 first and it's giving me a hint that my guess is too low. Let's go a bit above that, 70. Still my guess is too low. Let's go 80. Now my guess is too high. So it's between 70 and 80. So let's go with 75. Now my guess is too high. So I'm going to go with 73. Now that was the correct number and it gave a message. Congratulations. You guessed the number in five guesses. So it actually counts the number of guesses that we took to actually answer the correct number which is quite good. So it was a really great game that we created within barely one minute. It didn't took much effort. It didn't took much prompting and we get this amazing game. Isn't that amazing? I'm really excited and intrigued to actually test this out thoroughly. So if you want me to do that, please leave a comment below and I will make sure that I completely and thoroughly test this amazing coding model for you guys out there. But for this video, I think this concludes this video. I hope this video was valuable. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.